fine people from the homeland. It's time for me to take this door out and replace it with something a little cooler. Here, I've got one of my uh, outside rails set up. I'm gonna be cutting it at 45 degrees. This is gonna be 82 inches long. Uh, I don't have the squarest opening, so now I'm just gonna be making three cuts, one for my left rail, one for my right rail, and then one for my top rail, and those are all gonna be connected with the 45. So let's go ahead, let's make this first cut. So now we are uh, finishing up all of our cuts. I'm just uh, tacking each one of the corners in three places. Then I'm gonna go ahead, uh, weld all the joints out. From there, I didn't show this part on camera, but I drilled uh, three holes, one at the top, middle, bottom uh, for my bolt location. That's gonna go ahead, take this frame and attach it to the wall. And now that we've got uh, the frame attached to the wall, I can go ahead measure the distance from the bottom to the top on either side and get the length of my rails and then I'll be able to measure between that to get the length of my styles. So now that we've got most of the pieces cut for the door, I'm going to just go ahead, uh, tack them in three locations, and then uh, grab this entire door. I'm going to actually bring it over to the opening that I made earlier, and I just want to make sure I have all the correct clearances and that it fits good, tight, and snug. Then I'll bring it back over to the garage floor, uh, grab my... <laughs> square there and a couple clamps. I want to keep this as square as possible guys. And then I'm going to tack up uh, the other side and uh, weld all my joints out. Now that we've got the door fitted, I can go ahead and get the bottom style uh, set for this door. I had a bevel both ends there. My concrete dips about an inch and a half from one side to the other, so that was a slope that I had to calculate. Uh, here I've got that cut. Now I'm going to go ahead, tack it up, and get this welded all the way around. Now that the door fits great, it's time to attach the lockbox. Uh, this thing I picked up at my uh, local uh, metal supply store. Here I'm just measuring it out, making sure uh, I've got all the uh, correct measurements to get this cut in.
So now that I've got the whole door I sanded down, I've got all my joints good and fixed, I'm going to go ahead and start working on the inside rail and get the wood installed. Here we go. I don't know how we did it, but we did it. We got this thing installed. <laughs> Woo, let's go ahead, take a peek on the other side. Look at that thing. <laughs> it works wonderfully. I think I did all right. There it is. Closes nicely. I've got a good reveal all the way around. The hinges are just like that. Sorry, uh, I couldn't film that. I was in a tight, little squeeze there but that's what it looks like cool guys the door is in time to get it painted from the homeland. The door is done. Uh, the patina I put on yesterday, maybe I applied it wrong. I don't know what happened, but I ended up with a big rusted mess. So today I grabbed the tape. I've got a couple cans of spray paint right over there. I'm going to go ahead and get this thing painted black and uh, put the finishing touches on it. That about wraps this awesome project up. Don't forget, rate, comment, and hit that big red subscribe button, guys. I really do appreciate it. Thank you. Ooh.